Okay, well, I'm here with Jeff Alter, uh, son of Hobie Alter, and we're here at the Hobie uh, Innovation Exhibition at the Surf Heritage Foundation. And uh, gosh, uh, how do I ask you what it was like growing up with your dad, you know, uh, under the Hobie family? I mean, boy, what a legacy. <laughs> well, I was, uh, I guess you could say I was lucky enough to, uh, to grow up with a guy that liked to make a lot of toys, <laughs> but <laughs> different kind of toys than your average toy, so I got I to gotta play with a lot of great stuff. Well, you got to enjoy a certain part of history too, you know, the, the birth of surfing, uh, you know, you were, came along a little bit later, but you basically uh, have lived your whole life in and around the surfing community and, and your dad's uh, inventions, so, I mean, that's got to gotta be something no, exciting. Yeah, it was, it was, you know, from little kid down San Onofre, you know, just probably running around with diapers and rolling in the sand and uh, all the way through to the sailing thing, got all into the sailing and kind of... I kind of did a lot of the sports that he did throughout, including things that he didn't develop, like motorcycle riding and other things, but he was involved in. So it was, uh, you know, it was awesome because his, his group of friends, which are, you know, now all these heroes, the Walter Hoffmans of the world and the Gordon Clarks of the world, and, you know, those are all like our friends as kids. They, they, they treated us like their own children almost and took us to do whatever the activity was, you know, it was pretty cool. And, and you know, it shows up now, I mean, the, uh, looking out there tonight, uh, I couldn't walk past uh, too many people who weren't part of that whole experience. Yeah. I mean, it's really quite a uh, uh, quite a gathering. I mean, it's amazing the people who showed up to honor your dad here today and honor the the uh, inventions that he's had. Uh, Got to be impressive. No, it's it's it is totally. I mean, it's amazing. You know, he uh, you know he did a he did a spectacular job at uh, doing everything he did and didn't really probably make too many enemies along the way and made a lot of great friends and, and I think treated people right through his whole career. Well, it, uh, the interviews that we've uh, had today have been with people who worked with him and it's been the general consensus that uh, he always would employ them even if they went away on surfing trips, they came back, <laughs> your dad would always find room for them. And, you know, I mean, some of the stories from the uh, uh, Alley of Broken Dreams and, yeah. you know, uh, the Pattersons, uh, the Hoffmans, uh, the Clarks. I mean, there's so many great people in his history, and and you guys are carrying it on now. I mean, you you haven't missed a beat, you know. Yeah, we're we're trying. I mean, you know the um, the surfing thing. Uh, you know the the uh, there was a point when surfing went aerial, and uh, we probably didn't fit that mold too well, and and now it's coming back around. I think into the class. You know, everyone's really starting to respect all the the the. The more classic surfing and and uh, and the SUP thing is uh, just from a perspective of getting people on the water, not so much surfing, but out on the water on lakes and any body of water. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing because there's a lot of stuff around the world about you know standing on boards and paddling. Well, it's putting people in the water that probably never would be in the water, and you guys saw a, a, an opening and. You guys, instead of falling into the uh, molding situation, you guys have gone in another direction where you got your hands on it, you've got the creativity, you're putting out different types of equipment. You guys spend a lot of time uh, experimentalizing, and, and I take my hat off to you guys for being the leaders of the pack as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, we have a you know a great group of, of team riders, and we don't necessarily you know have big budgets or pay them a bunch of money, but we... we we build them product that they want to ride and, 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 and we work with them and we tweak it and change it and all of our custom stuff is, uh, you know, there's a lot of energy into it with our, you know, shapers and, and, uh, and we listen to what they're saying and we, and when we get, when we hit on something, we do mold it and we do pr do production stuff and we kind of, we have to, to, uh, to, uh, you know, produce it for the masses so we can actually sell something. But, but constantly, I mean, right now there's boards going through our shaping room that are, you know, a year away, that we'll see what they are. But they, <laughs> it's it's cool because we really do take this input from a lot of a lot of great people, from from surfers to to, to stand up paddlers to you know whatever. And even in the paddleboard realm, I mean, I I, I was a paddler when I was uh, with the lifeguard service, but I see you guys with creativity with the paddleboards. It's just something special. And and uh, I, I was talking to Mark about it, and he said that at one point your your dad actually came down and said, no, 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 these paddle boards are all wrong. Here's the way you got to do it. You got to keep them light yeah. and uh, straight. And so it shows that your dad is still, you know, thinking. He's still actively uh, participating, and, and you well, guys are lucky I, to have him. I, I will say, you know, he was, and I wasn't, uh, you know, I was a little baby at that time, but he was totally into lay down, you know, prone paddling and racing and, and building long boards with knee wells and 
a lot of stuff that has great similarity to what we do in SUP, and and he was doing that, you know, back in the the sixty late sixties, um, and he was really into that. You know, it, was, it, it, it has tremendous parallels, although it was way back then. But it was, uh, you know, long and skinny and light and knee wells and getting your wa your your uh, your knees down close to the water level and a lot of stuff like that. So so, you know. We have been in that range, and I certainly we, you know, when this thing started, he's very interested in it. He talks about the shapes, and you know, we have to kind of explain. You know, you're just a little wider. You can't have a 17-inch stand-up paddleboard that works very well. But it, but it's you know, it's great because we we have been there and done well, that through I, everything. I mean, Terry Martin and all the stuff we've done with him. It's 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 cool. As I look back on it, I mean, I met your your dad uh, way back in the 50s, and. Knew uh, Sharon, his first wife, and and all I can say is that he always was involved. I mean, he surfed, he tandem, he rode skateboards. I mean, there wasn't anything that it, it had to do with athletics that he wasn't involved in. He paddled in races. I mean, yeah. wow, he was a, a, a real, I would I call a true waterman. Well, I, I look at pictures of him back in those days and I wish I was that stud because he was a stud. <laughs> but I mean, that's something to be, you know, you look back at your dad and say, wow, you know. Yeah, and, totally. And, and then to see yeah. all these people here tonight to, to celebrate this uh, exhibition, which is really pretty special. You know, yeah. you you got to, you, what is your favorite thing out there to create? You know, to be honest, I've, I, I'm going to have to come back on another day because I can't, <laughs> like you, I can't get through the crowd without having... 35 conversations so yeah, it's uh, pretty, uh, you know it, it's cool we, you know we put the the replica of the old store in there which I think is pretty cool um, the, the original store in Dana Point and then you know the I, I can't even tell you it's all very cool a lot of great stuff out there well we just uh, hope to see you continue to enjoy the success that Hobie's had over the years and I know you guys are dedicated and and uh, there's something special about Hobie, and uh, thank you so much for your time here well, today, Jeff, and, and keep up the good work. And, and, you know, we want to thank the Surfing Heritage for having us and doing this, because it was really, they deserve a big credit for it. It's, well, it's, 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 it's awesome. I think it's the first person that we needed to honor was your dad. I mean, he's wow. really been there since the beginning, and uh, nothing but positive stuff from everybody here. and. And yourself, uh, and I'm, I'm you. glad he could be here for it too, which is super special. And I can't wait to get a few minutes with him. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a few. All right, All right, All right Jeff, thanks again, buddy. Yeah.